Hi, my name is Felix. I work at Pessler as business development manager for IIoT and data centers. In this video, I'll show how to monitor your physical data center infrastructure with PRTG Network Monitor. And most of this also applies for PRTG Hosted Monitor and PRTG Enterprise Monitor. If you're not yet familiar with PRTG, I recommend our other tutorials and webinars or feel free to contact us. We have been doing monitoring for a long time and the monitoring of IT is well known. However, to have an up and running IT, we need also a proper environment, the data center. In the physical security of the data centers, there are three essential areas. First is the power supply. Second is the security, like intrusion detection or camera systems. And third is the data center's air conditioning, so that the IT components have an optimal environment. I want to show in PRTG the possibilities to include these three areas. I'm going to show a mixture of native sensors, templates and generic sensors that can be used directly in PRTG to get a holistic overview of the data center. I would also like to add the flexibility of PRTG. It allows to cover every size from a small unit, for example an edge data center, to a medium-sized data center as well as a large data center. Let's have a look in PRTG. Okay, first of all, let's look into the security area. And here we have an example of the access camera. You can use for this our templates. You can find that on pesla.com slash sensor minus hub. And in this case, we have here a straightforward ping sensor so that you can check just the connection to the camera. Here you have information about the system, the temperature or the uptime. Of course, it depends on the camera, what information you can collect, what, you, what the information is you can monitor from that. Let's move on in the area, area of security. Here I have an example of a hardware. In this case, it is a Rital hardware. It's called the CMC3 device and we have had great experience with that. And here you can see the door status, the access control. And here you can see the door is closed. So whether the door is closed or open, you can create an alarm with PITG. You can send this via SMS or email, or you can use our free of charge iOS and Android app to get directly a notification to your smartphone. Now let's move on to the power supply, the UPS. To be precise, the UPS health status. Over here you can see the UPS battery status and in this case the battery is normal. So if you have predefined maintenance intervals for your battery and maybe between the intervals there is an error with your battery, then you get an alert from PRTG about your battery and then you can call your facility manager or your responsible maintenance company to replace the battery that you know the UPS can take over the IT and can support them with the corresponding power. Another important information is the UPS battery time remaining. So you can read out this information from your UPS and in this case it's 59 minutes. So the UPS can take over the IT for 59 minutes and you can decide during that time you can shut down your servers or um, it depends on your security level. Maybe you have installed a power generator and then you can of course um, bridge the time to the power generator. When we move on to the power distribution, we have the PDU, the power distribution unit. Here you can get the total energy consumption of your rack, for example, or the power. With the power you can see what the thermal heat is of your rack, or you can analyze what is the distribution of the different phases in your data center and of course other informations as well. When we dig a little bit deeper into the power distribution unit, we can monitor also a single socket. When you monitor a single socket, then maybe you have an important system 
over there and you want to monitor that precisely, then you can see that and monitor it here. That was the chain of the power supply. So from the UPS over the distribution unit. And of course you can also measure or monitor the energy meters in your data centers. We can move on to the air conditioning system. So the cooling system in your data center. For this, when we look here on the right hand side, the sensor type, we have a generic sensor, the Modbus TCP custom sensor. And we have here the error code, what we read out of the air conditioning system. We see that here is no active error. And you can see other information in the so-called channels in PRTG. With this generic sensor, you have the possibility to read out certain registers from the Modbus TCP. So for example, another important information could be the inlet temperature or the outlet temperature of your air conditioning system or the fan speed, fan status. Here is another sensor what we have in PRTG, an integrated a native sensor, the SNMP Rital CMC3 hardware status sensor. So with this sensor, you can get the overall status. So if the device is functional, if the, the device is up and running, you can see this with this sensor over here. As a rule, the air conditioning units have integrated leakage sensors. However, I recommend to have dedicated sensors, for example, such a leakage sensor, uh, like a, a line version or a point version of this leakage sensor. And then you can see if there is a leakage in your data center. And as you can see here, the status is okay. When we move on to monitor the environment of your data center, we can monitor the temperature or like in this case, the humidity. And on the left hand side, you can see the humidity value or the humidity level and the dew point for your data center. That was a rather technical view of your data center. We have dashboards in PRTG or what we call it, the maps. And with this maps, you have the possibility to create something like this. This is an example of a CCTV dashboard. You see the certain element, the camera, the storage system, the switches, and also the connection between the devices. And you can see over here, if there is a failure, then it turns red and you know precisely where to adjust the error or where to find the error in your security system. Another example of a dashboard, you can create these dashboards by your own. So with our integrated map designer, by dragging and dropping, you can create these dashboards, countless opportunities. And as I always say, creativity is the limit to create these dashboards. And you see here cooling information, a diagram, gauges on the right hand side, the power supply, and here the floor plan of your data center. And it's the same as I described in the other dashboard. Here we have the traffic lights or other information about the rack. And if there is a failure, then it turns red and you know where the error occurs. On the right hand side, the IT technology to get a holistic overview about the data center. We have then on the one hand, the physical infrastructure and on the other hand, the IT like network, server, hardware, visualization and storage system. Another example of a dashboard is this for your data center. So it's divided in, into three sections. On the left hand side, the building facility with a diagram about temperature or humidity, these rectangles in a green for the CCTV system. In the middle, you can see the IT infrastructure with our so-called sunburst view and other elements, other sensors or icons over here. And on the right hand side, you can monitor up to the service and application layer with a PRTG. And here 
again traffic lights and you can use to create these beautiful traffic lights you can use our business process sensor to create these. On the right hand side you can see this little cloud over here. So nowadays more IT infrastructure exists from on-prem systems as well as a cloud systems and you can call up information from AWS or Azure with PRTG simply by using our native sensor for that. So there you have it. Now you know how to monitor your data center with PRTG, not only the IT. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, feel free to leave us a like or consider subscribing. Tell us in the comments if there is a topic you want us to make a tutorial about. If you need help with PRTG, you can contact our support on our website. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.